Are you ready to start living a more confident, successful, and safe life, regardless of what's going on in the world or what has happened in your past? Then you're at the right place at the right time. The Finvincible Podcast, where we bring you content and guests to help you focus on moving forward as the powerful you that you are truly meant to be. So welcome to Finvincible. Hey, everybody. Welcome to not Saturday morning Finvincible chat, but the Finvincible podcast with your host, me, Cranford Blackman. So yeah, nice little change, right? So this is September, and in the U.S., September is Suicide Prevention Awareness Month. And so I wanted to just share a couple of things uh, about that today. Um, you know, I'm I'm not a psychologist or a psychotherapist or a specialist in, you know, suicidal thoughts or suicidal ideation or any of that, but I have experienced the pain of suicide in my life, clearly not my own. Uh, and but you know, that being said, I've had some pretty dark days. I mean, if if you know me and you're familiar with my background, you could understand that maybe I've had some pretty bad days, uh, especially after the memory of the stuff that happened to me as a child came back just a few years ago, uh, which that's, we can talk about that a different time. But there's a couple of things I just wanted to share with you. One, whether you know, you're having thoughts of not wanting to stay here, of not wanting to continue being alive, or whether it's somebody that you care about, a friend or a, a loved one or a family member. One of the things I'd like you to think about is that it may not, because it can be hard to understand, right? Why would somebody want to kill themselves? Well, it may not be that they want to kill themselves. It may be that they have so much pain going on in their life that they can't see the end of it. And what they're really looking for is a way to end the pain or to stop the pain. And maybe it's the only way they can think of. Now, that's a dark place to be in. Um, and I understand that. So if it's you that might be having some thoughts like that, I want you to recognize that the pain can go away without ending your own life. You know, there's a, a lot of ways that things can change for the better. So the point is, don't think of this. Don't choose a permanent solution to what was a temporary problem. And I know, I get it, sometimes it doesn't feel like it will ever end, but it will. Things can get better, especially if you reach out and get some help, okay? If it's for someone that, uh, you know, if you're watching this and thinking about someone you love who may be suicidal or you think they might be, you know, remember, don't don't look at them like they're crazy because it's easy when you're in a good place to go, why would anybody do that? Uh, but we don't understand the pain that people feel inside. You know, if we're not in their head, if we're not in their experience, we don't understand what they have going on. So be open to that. Uh, be aware that it may not be that they want to die. They just don't know how to stop the pain they're experiencing, whether it's physical or emotional, psychological, whatever it is. And try to kind of have that in your, you know, in your heart or in your mind when you're connecting with somebody like that. And it's okay to let them know that things can get better, even though they don't feel like it. And, you know, don't, don't try to make them feel bad for thinking about wanting the pain to end. 
right? All of us do that. We get an injury on our arm. What do we do? We want the pain to end, right? We burn ourselves. We want the pain to end. So that's normal. Uh, and it's just that another person might be feeling a pain that's inside that they don't know how to escape. So have some compassion with them. Have some care with them. Uh, the other thing that I want to share with you, and I've seen this work positively in the real world, in my life, you know, in people I know. One of the things that you can do, if it's you or to offer for somebody else, is to hold on just for three minutes. It's 180 seconds. That's, you can almost hold your breath that long. But if you're in a place that is where you feel like you can't take it anymore, you know, grab your phone, put a timer on there for three minutes and go, I just need to hold on for three minutes. Let me do that. Three minutes. Hit your timer and just hold on for three minutes. And when you make it to the end of that three minutes, just do it again. Okay. It's three minutes at a time. And what it does, it can allow your brain to readjust and maybe allow you to think of a different way or a different option, like asking for some help or maybe taking a shower or watching a show to try to distract your, your mind and your feelings from the terrible stuff that you have going on. And again, I'm not a therapist. You know, I'm just sharing a few things that have, you know, that I've seen work in my life with others and with myself when I've had really bad days when I couldn't think, can I go on? And this three minute thing, something I just came up with on my own, you know, I grabbed my watch. I'm like, okay, I don't feel like I can make it, but I can make it for three minutes. And then after three minutes, generally I'm doing a little better. And if I'm not, I do it again. I can live in pain for three minutes at a time. Most anybody can. So try that for yourself if you're in a really dark place. And if it's somebody you care about, a friend or a loved one, let them know to do that. Three minutes at a time. We can bear almost anything for three minutes, right? And if we can do it over and over, all of a sudden it's nine minutes and 12 minutes and 15 minutes. And maybe we remember, oh, I, I guess I can hold on. I can get through this. So just a couple of things there that I've seen work in my life. You know, remember um, that it's not about always wanting to die. It can be about just wanting the pain to stop. And then if you look at dealing with the pain for three minutes at a time, it gets a lot more bearable because you don't have to think about what if this is for the rest of my life or for the rest of this year or the rest of the time I'm in college or in this job or in high school or whatever it is. It's just three minutes at a time. And it can be a lifesaver. I know I've seen it be a lifesaver. So anyway, Thanks for coming by. Um, please, you know, be gentle with people who have, who are struggling with life. Be, be, be gentle with people who have maybe tried suicide before. Um, care about them. You know, support them. Be there for them. It might be that they just need somebody to hear the pain that they're experiencing for them to be able to share it out loud. You know, pain that you've held inside for a long time can cause so much more pain, but to be able to share it with a friend or a family member, it's nice when you have another set of shoulders to help bear the story that you have to share. So anyway, um, if you need help, get help. Uh, oh my gosh, I can't think of the National Suicide Hotline right now. I think it's 988. I know that works for veterans. But anyway, 
look it up on your phone. Take a look. It's there. Suicide hotline. There are people there waiting to listen. Okay. Um, just take care of yourself. We need you to be here. There may be a whole lot of lives you can change positively after you get through your pain. Okay. All right. Thank you for being here next week. Uh, it won't be a video. We'll be doing a live video again. And I'm excited to see you there. So thank you. Take care. Support one another. Support yourself. Take care of yourself. Self-care. It's so important. So important. And I will see you next week. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye. This has been a production of LabCAF LLC and FemVincible.com.